The factors that affect how well ozone works in a swimming pool system are A, how much ozone you're introducing to the system, but B, and more importantly, the contact time with the water. The contact time with the water is a critically important function of how ozone works. Basically, if you were to imagine introducing a, a bubble of ozone into a, a body of dirty water, but you introduce that bubble of ozone, let's say where a return port would typically be located, maybe 16 inches below the surface of the water. So the bubble comes out and just goes to the surface. Within under a second, the bubble has escaped the pool and perhaps it didn't encounter any bacteria or organic debris along the way with which to try to stabilize itself with. So then the ozone really provided no benefit at all. Whereas a more beneficial system would be having a, a, a bubble of ozone return through the floor of a swimming pool such that that bubble of ozone has to slowly snake its way up through the water maybe six or eight feet of depth of water before it reaches the surface and escapes the system. There's a much greater likelihood that that ozone will provide some sort of functional benefit to the water and that's why contact time is one of the most important functions with how well ozone works in a swimming pool. If this information was helpful to you, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.